welcome to geotechnical engineering part 1 particle size analysis today we will be discussing about hydrometer analysis particle size distribution curve uniformity coefficient coefficient of curvature use of particle size distribution curve wet sieving and hydrometer analysis as per IS code 2720 part 4 1985 so generally sieve analysis we say is a, as a soil gradation is the distribution of particle size expressed as percentage of total dry weight so here soil is a mixture of or a percentage of sand silt and clay and in inorganic fraction of soil and is measured in this procedure the method is based on the stocks law governing the rate of sedimentation of particle suspended in the water so generally the result of testing will reflect the condition and characteristics of aggregates from which the sample is obtained thus when sampling it is important to obtain a disturbed representative sample that is representative of source being tested because the distribution of different grain size affect the engineering properties of soil so for this test required apparatus are glass cylinder thermometer hydrometer electric mixture weight balance stopwatch and beaker here dispersing agent 4% is used that is sodium hexameter phosphate here you can see some of the apparatus being used for hydrometer analysis so first of all particle passing through 4.75 mm is sieved and which is retained on 75 micron If the soil contain a substantial quantity of fine particle, a wet sieve analysis is required. So for that, 200 gram of oven dry soil sample soaked with water is being used. Defoculation is required. 2% Kalgan solution is used instead of water. The soil is a sample is stirred and left for soaking period of one hour. Slurry is then sieved through 4.75 mm sieve and washed with a jet of water. Material retained on the sieve is gravel fraction, which should be dried in the oven and weighted. The material passing through 75 micron. which is retained on 75 micron on passing through 4.75 mm sieve is being washed and filtered become clear then again it is passing through 75 micron sieve and collected and dried with the help of oven Now here you can see the hydrometer deep at the different interval and calibration chart of hydrometer reading and effective depth. Now we will be taking 40 gram of one dried soil sample after removing salts, soluble salt or organic matter. It is then mixed with 4 percentage solution of dispersing agent sodium hexameter phosphate and suspension should be made 24 hours before testing 
now the suspension is mixed using electric mixture following stirring with mixture suspension which is about 1000 ml in the mixing cylinder is turned end to end for even distribution of particle before the time t begin to the to be measured hydrometer readings are measured at regular interval as indicated in the data sheet or we can say observation table to determine the particle size distribution curve first of all we need the correction of miscus correction which is a suspension opaque the reading at the top due to the miscus actual reading will be at the bottom so this correction will be positive temperature correction for less than 27 degrees celsius the correction is negative and vice versa temperature should be maintained from starting till end an interval regular interval and averaged dispersing agent correction adding calgon always increase the specific gravity no specimen hence correction is negative so you, here you can see actual reading of miscus temperature and dispersing agent so while hydrometer is dipped into the solution a different time interval 30 second 1 minute 22 minute 5 minute 10 minute 15 minute hydrometer reading is being recorded with corrections miscus correction temperature correction and dispersing correction will be measuring the effective depth also we will be getting the k value from the calibrated chart l by t then we'll be taking the root of l by t then we'll be determine the particle size d equal to k under root l by t so this way you will be getting the particle size of finer particle less than 75 micron now let us talk about the particle size distribution curve the particle size distribution is method of separation of any soil sample into different fraction based on their particle size we know that very finer particle which has size smaller than 75 micron carry charges on their surface why charges on the surface because they are sticky to other particles they have this tendency so in soil sample the smaller particles remain stuck to the other particle hence first we separate this smaller particles from larger particles and for that we carry out wet sieve analysis with the sample so generally first we wash over the 75 micron sieve to remove the finer particle sticky to the coarser particle then wet soil retained on the 75 micron is dried in the oven and after drying dry sieve analysis is carried out finer fraction with passes 75 micron is utilized for sedimentation analysis using hydrometer method just we have discussed and you using all this method we calculate the percentage finer than different particle size 
on the basis of total mass initially taken here the percentage final then d and the diameter of particle d we plot plot a graph this curve is obtained from percentage final results of both coarser and finer grain portion of soil this curve is also known as particle size distribution curve or gradation curve this distribution of particle of different size in the soil mass is the grading of soil so gradation is generally the classification of coarser grain soil based on difference particle size contained in the soil here you can see the increasing order from the left to right or even decreasing order from the left to right both determines the gradation curve which is said to be particle size distribution curve where in horizontal axis particle size is kept is plotted and percentage finer in the y axis that is m uniformity coefficient cu is determined by the particle size which is d60 by d10 d60 means 60% amount of particles are finer than the size and remaining 40% are coarser d10 means 10% amount of soil has particle which are finer than this size d10 is also known as effective size so cu is equal to d60 by d10 so determining cu will be able to understand whether the soil is well graded gap graded or poorly graded soil if the particle size are same we say it as a uniformly graded or you can say it as a poorly graded soil so cu less than 5 we get as a uniform size particle 5 to 15 medium graded soil and greater than 15 will be saying it as a well graded soil so greater the cu value well graded soil will be available coefficient of curvature cc which is determining the shape of gradation curve d 30 square divided by d10 into d60 d30 is the particle size for which 30% amount of soil has particle which are finer than this size cu greater than 4 cc range 1 to 3 well graded gravel cu is greater than 6 and cc range 1 to 3 well graded sand if the cu value is less than 1 and cu is greater than 3 it is represented as the gap graded soil so using the cu and cc we will be determining whether the soil is well graded poorly graded or gap graded so this particle size distribution curve is used to classify the coarse grain soil even fine grain soil coefficient of permeability which helps to design a drainage filter susceptibility of soil to frost action provide index to shear strength use for soil stabilization useful for 
design of pavement thank you for listening thank you very much